could cry. I don't know, I just could cry. So I have obviously a very big surprise behind me. <laughs> the showers are also done. It's been really hard <laughs> getting my cups. Ow, those are hot. Oh man, cups are so hot from sitting in the truck for like 0.5 seconds. It's been so hard to have like some tools at the Jones house, some tools at our house, some tools at my mom's house. It's just like this never ending of trying to find tools all the time, I feel like. Yeah, it's almost like we need five of everything. We, I literally have considered sometimes, I'm like, Maybe I should just make a to-go kit and a home tr kit. Buy triple the tools, you know what I mean? Like that way I just, I never have to search for anything. Actually, it'd probably make my life worse because then like if I lost something, I'd be like even more mad. Anyway, we're here at the Jones house to work on installing some lighting today. Let's have some fun. I'm really excited about all the lighting we have because I'm just saying I think I made some good selections and I'm excited to share them with you guys. I forgot to show you guys that we already did get one light installed here. It is so cute. I love it so much. We The ceilings in this like dining area aren't very tall so I wanted a chandelier without being a chandelier. I didn't want it to feel like intruding in on the space and when I found this one I was like Mark look at this light I found. He was like yeah that's the one. Isn't it so cute honey? Yeah it's very designer and just like unintrusive at the yeah. same time. Like it's a piece that you notice but like I'm six foot, six foot one. I know, you on can kind of see like head. it's not that far yeah. from you. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, it looks really good in here. We are starting with the upstairs bathroom first. We have two bathrooms on this floor, the master and then a second like guest bathroom. It's like a hallway bath, if you will. Um, and I am so excited to see this light fixture in here. I want more. Before we install this light in here, and I'm sorry you guys can probably hear the AC going because it's right there and it's super loud, um, but we, I need to go ahead and paint this first because once I put the light fixture up, it'll be almost impossible for me to paint around it. So we're gonna move to another light fixture instead. I'm gonna paint this one. Mark and I are going to multitask here. Nope, this light is off, so whatever we do. Oh, there is some live wire in there though. These ones aren't, but. Those ones are. Working up a sweat in there. <laughs> it's like paint bucket, ladder, all over the house doing touch ups on everything because the new light fixtures are a different size than the old light fixtures. So, anyway, I'm getting there and we're gonna be able to install them still today, I think. So, yeah, I think that's so. good. It's like one of those things when you're so excited to see something installed and you just wanna like skip over the part that you have to do so you can see it be done. You know, you want to skip all the steps in between. That's how I was feeling, but I was like, no, Kylie, slow your roll, do the painting, you'll thank yourself later. Anyway, this light out here on the patio, I am very excited about. I'm sure somewhere I have a clip of the way it used to look before. Mark already just took it down. It was, you know, somewhat cute, but what I picked out I think is gonna be way cuter. <laughs> It's the next day and we are back at the house to actually get some supplies so we can do some returns this morning. Um, we had one light fixture that was broken. Um, it's like a glass sphere type thing and one of the glass pieces was broken. It's a really, really pretty light. So that was a bummer. Um, and then I have a faucet to return because the faucet doesn't quite match the light fixture. They're both gold but they're just not quite the same gold. So I'm gonna go 
to Lowe's and see if I can find a faucet that matches the light fixture better. I think they have one. Yeah. My fingers are crossed. It's so you like take that risk when you order online. You just oh, like, yeah. you're like, maybe it will match, maybe yeah. it won't. And it didn't match quite right, so that's okay. And we still have some more lights to install. It's been quite the process. Trying to get all the correct bulbs, okay? I don't know why, but like. We've learned that when you do globes. <sighs> when you do globes like this. It takes a different bulb. It's different bulbs, and then you can't get the bulbs like you normally would because then they don't fit in. The bowl, in the fixture, whatever. And then we got this super cute light right here for outside and- But it requires a very long It's saying metal. that it needs a vintage bulb. Yeah, vintage style bulb. Which is fine, but that's not what I was going for. I mean, that's what? not what I was going for. Listen, you order all this stuff online. I read the fine print on everything. I'm so good about that, but. It says a 60 wall bulb online and then you get it and it's different. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that's the hard thing about ordering online. But anyway, we're gonna go do some returns. We're at Home Depot. Look at all this awesome. This uh, is what we're looking at. I think we found the light we needed. E26 this is the one. medium base ST19. <laughs> I didn't know that we would know so much about light bulbs by the end of this. Man, you gotta I know I always so thought much. it was the same. Base for everything. Seriously. Well, I mean, and then we got these. No, we know it's a different base, but for some reason, this specific lighting that I ordered is complicated. Yeah. So, anyway, all right, we're gonna go see if we can find a faucet. Oh, I wanted to share it really <laughs> quick too with you guys because a lot of people don't know this. Um, so, when you're buying light bulbs, this obviously it says brightness, but I feel like you could easily overlook this. So, the lumens is how right the bulb is going to be and then the kelvins is the color so like this one is daylight i do everything like daylight the cool cool white um even if it says bright white it's going to be more yellow and then if you're not really sure like what kind of scale it's going to look like you can always look on the back and it will tell you from warm to cool where that light will fall so even for something that says it's bright white it still is falling on the warm side even though like when I think of bright white, you'd think of like more cool tone, but daylight is like that cool white color that I personally like. They only have one gold faucet, which I already had that one. So one return <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite match. Right, so to Lowe's we go. Yeah. See that it's color just, difference? It's just it's slightly <laughs> paler and it's not gonna work. It's not Kylie approved. <laughs> So off to hunt for a faucet we go. Every time we come here, I'm oh I always just feel like, what am I forgetting? What is the one thing I'm not remembering that I need? This is the one I was thinking was gonna work, but look at that color difference. It's not. That's not gonna work for me. It's pretty close, but not quite, it's still not quite right, you know? Yeah. There's only one other one online that I think might work. But the trouble with ordering online is, of course, the same thing. You know, it may look like it's it the right color. It might look like it's the right color, but you just never really know. So I think I'm gonna order that other one online and then see. And then go from there, you know? We'll just see what happens. I might have to like go all over and try to find something that matches. You might have to go to Ferguson. Returning the light, getting a different light, it's not an option. I love the light. So I'd much rather find a faucet that matches <laughs> than a different light. Cause me trying to pick out lighting, listen, it's a, it is a struggle. Cause I like nothing and everything I do like, it's like way out the budget, you know, it's like, <laughs> not even a possibility. I can barely breathe. <laughs> I feel so anxious. The countertops are getting installed today. It's the moment that we have been waiting for. You know, this is like the most exciting part I feel like out of the whole entire project is countertops. And I'm just like hoping they look good and hoping they fit and hoping the measurements are right and just ah, makes me like sick to my stomach even just thinking about it. But it's gonna be a good day. Everything's gonna go as planned. Everything's gonna work. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm just so excited to see this space change. We're like getting close to the finish line. We just got here. I could cry. I don't know. I just could cry. Not really, but 
I have no chill. There's no chill happening today. <laughs> so this is the sink. This is the undermount sink that we're gonna be using. It is a very large, perfect for a single family or lots of renters. It's gonna withstand a lot of time. So they install all the sinks for us and then we bought three of the bathroom sinks through them as well. And then we have to have a plumber come and do all the plumbing to hook up all the faucets and everything. I mean, we could do that ourselves, but that's not a I favorite think we'll, thing. I think we'll be plumbing. hooking up most of the faucets. The only thing that we won't be doing is I don't like doing the P-traps because I, yeah. I don't know why I cannot figure out a P-trap to <laughs> save my life. Okay, two things I always hire, I will hire out. Plumbing and sometimes electrical sometimes so i have three things and then having tile removed those are my three things i'm like mm, just hire it out it's no big deal yeah you just have to evaluate like what your time is worth that's all they just installed the first well, they didn't install it, they laid it down. yeah they laid it down they just installed the first countertop in the master bath ah! oh my god so good here They're doing such a good job of installing that when they carry the countertops, I feel like if I was carrying the countertops, I'd hit every wall and <laughs> ding every wall on the way down. Yeah. It's not, it's like so easy for them. No so offense, babe, but you job. probably would. Yeah. That's why we're not doing that. Kind of like a bowl in a china <laughs> shop. <laughs> We're kind of in their way, so I gotta be quick about this, but they did such a good job of matching veining. It's probably not gonna show up on camera, but where it connects, they made it look like the veining continues into the slab. They did it over here. They did it over here. They've done it in all the bathrooms, all the countertops. Everything has a good texture of veining. And sometimes countertop people don't do that, but I feel like this place really knows what they're doing. What in the actual heck? What in the heck? Just love it. The kitchen backsplash. I, I don't even have words. I have no words. I did the same backsplash detail when I did Mark's mom's laundry room. When you, if you guys caught that makeover, I did the same backsplash detail there. And I loved it. I was obsessed with it. I knew I wanted to do it in here too. And I just like thought it was gonna be really pretty and it was gonna elevate the room. I just didn't know that like it was gonna elevate it this much the way that the backsplash looks with like the little island the board and batten and the columns it just like added all that like chunkiness together and just like blew it out of the whole water like i am so in love with the way that it looks in here they are so talented they did an absolutely wonderful killer job it definitely takes a highly skilled professional to be able to do this backsplash detail because they have to miter the corners. Of course, just adding that extra detail, the little lip is, you know, it's very, very technical and they did it, they pulled it off and it's beautiful. So, holy cow, it is gorgeous in here and coming together. Now I need to get the island painted and we still have so many like finishing touches to do, but this was like a huge step today. So I have obviously a very big surprise behind me. <laughs> the showers are also done. The last time you guys saw them, they were torn apart. They were down to the studs, but we had professionals come in and finish off the showers for us. We still have to install the hardware, but the tile is so gorgeous. I love it. It's the flash tile in the shade ivory from Arizona Tile. This tile is what really inspired me to do my mom's backsplash in her kitchen. It's just gorgeous. We're in the kind of guest bath on the main floor of the house and we are gonna be doing gold fixtures in here. We have, we're gonna do a gold faucet. We already have the gold light fixture in, which is so gorgeous. I love all the light fixtures that we picked out for the house. Um, and the other thing that we did with the countertops in all the bathrooms, I didn't do that same backsplash like the edge detail that we did in the kitchen, um, just to save some money because that is obviously more expensive um, because way more labor. But I did choose to do a five inch backsplash. The industry standard is like a four inch, but I wanted to just amp it up just a little bit so it would kind of tie in with the kitchen. So I did a five inch backsplash 
instead around all the vanities and I think it turned out so beautiful. That extra inch really just totally elevated the way that it looked. We have the AC back on because it was so hot. <laughs> so you might be hearing some background noise, but I wanted to show you guys the bathroom in the basement. It is so gorgeous down there. I would go down there and talk, but it's like super echoey still since it's empty. But I cannot believe where that bathroom started to where it's like how it's looking now already. And we're not even in done stalling everything in there. Definitely, you know, doing the extra cabinetry in there, doing the bigger countertop. That vanity in there is 72 inches now instead of like the little pedestal sink that we had in there before. It is looking so beautiful. We also did the same tile down there that we put in the upstairs bathroom, so they match as well. And if you guys have seen now, all the countertops in the whole house match as well, which was really important to me um, because I just feel like it makes the whole house feel really cohesive and um, you know, just everything kind of just matches and just feels so good. So ah, what a good day, what a good day. Also, I just have to say one thing. One thing. She should be very proud. No, I'm very proud of us. I'm so proud of us. I was just here for manual labor. No, you weren't. You did you, all the finishing work. You installed all these cabinets just as much as I did. He said that we did a good job. Yeah, the install guys he and, said, and the install foreman, if that's what you want to yeah. say, they said, wow, you guys did a good job. But most of everything is pretty much pretty the level. exact level that you need. Yeah. He had like two little spots that he had to shim, but. In the basement. In the basement. And one bathroom in the basement, and that was it. All Honestly, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, to get this kitchen level, y'all don't even know. Mm. Don't that even. Was, well, they do know because no. they watched us struggle. Well, you with did. It. You watched us struggle. <laughs> you watched that struggle. That was hard. That might but be the hardest thing I've done. Doesn't it feel so good when an industry professional says, wow, you did a good job? It does. Mm. It does for our little DIY it selves. It makes me feel like you're almost an industry professional. I'm like, y'all, I'll tell you how it is. No, I'm just kidding. That was just really like such a high compliment yeah. um, for him yeah. to say that. Day made. Day made. <laughs> Day made. It's so echoey down here. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this light fixture. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> we didn't put any of the glass in it. It actually has these glass rods that go all the way through the light. Hence those little black triangles. Yes, hence all these little triangles. It's such a beautiful light, but with, we're going to put the glass in once the flooring gets installed because I could just totally see somebody walking down the hallway with their flooring like piece and just smashed <laughs> so we're gonna wait we're gonna wait on that one i'm gonna make you guys wait i have to wait so we might as well all wait 